Hey, wanna go out sometime? You wanna go on a date with me? Ramona Flowers has seven evil exes, all of whom you must defeat in order to date her. What? There's something different about, I guess, voicing a character to, than, you know, performing live action um, because you have to hit all these beats and like anime is just such a specific art form. Um, you know, was that a challenge or did, was it easy to fall back into those voices for evil? Yeah, I, I agree. It's funny because, you know, this was also my first voice work experience and um, it's interesting how I'm so used to saying, well, this is this was the intention for way, behind my line, but my face is doing it. And then when I hear it, I was like, yeah. oh, it doesn't sound like what I thought it needed to sound like. I got to like act differently with my voice, you know? And uh, so that was really interesting. And then, you know, for me too, it was just finding that voice again, finding Knives' voice. And I kept going, oh no, she's, you know, it's been 10 years and she's still 17. So I had to, you know, I really had to find her. And it was like, it was really interesting. I had to dig and light, like lighten up my voice a little bit and find that, you know, that girl who's turning into a woman and, you know, and that was really uncomfortable but then also really interesting and also fulfilling and um, and amazing there's kind of a juxtaposition sort of I mean Mary Elizabeth you you voice an older Rabona, and then like you mentioned Alan, you know you're voicing forever 17 knives um which is just <laughs> like so funny um you know is that was that I guess fun to to kind of have that challenge I mean for you Mary Elizabeth I mean we got to see really old Scott and we got to see older Rabona and like these are just characters we never would have, I guess, imagined seeing, at least because I'm not as familiar with the the anime, or the graphic novels. So I don't know if that's part of the graphic novels, but to see it on screen, it was just, I was like, where am I right now? It's so um, out of left field, but in such a great and fun way. Um, you know, was it, did you have to find that older voice for her, um, Ramona? Like, I guess, you know, what was the experience of that? I, I think it, it was kind of easy in a way because what I was able to do was kind of bring a bit more of my myself now to her and that um, version of the character because in the rest of the show, I'm sort of reaching a little bit to do what I did when I was much younger, you know, when I sort of first played the role and obvious, obviously trying to do a bit more with it as well, but still um, the choices that I made in terms of playing Ramona then were based on who I was, um, you know, at 25, um, 24, however, however old I was. So it was, it was nice to kind of bring more of the energy of who I am now at 39 to, <laughs> to Ramona and, um, and have all that life experience behind her. And that's what's so great about the show is that Ben David and, and Brian did that as well. They sort of are, are revisiting this story from when we were all in our 20s and, and looking at it through the lens of, of being in, in your late 30s and, um, and all of the wisdom that comes with that. And, and so getting to kind of see older Ramona and older, older Scott and, you know, alongside these younger versions of themselves, it's all very meta and all very emotional and incredibly authentic to, you know, their experience and our collective experience. Um, and I think that that's part of why people have embraced it so much because that audience has grown as well. And they're also looking back at these characters um, through a new lens. What was it like seeing your characters um, come to life in the anime um, themselves, like seeing the visual representation? Um, did that help you? Like, did you guys have, you know, examples to look at while you were recording your voices or was it all done ahead of time? Like, I guess, what was the process like on that front for you? Well, I mean, they look pretty much like what they do in the graphic novels. I didn't expect some whole new knives. That would have been outrageous. <laughs> um, and, you know, knowing that Brian was still, you know, the one creating this anime, I just, I didn't expect to see something totally different. But what I didn't, what I ha was surprised by was just how much more anime that they felt you know and I grew up watching like Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z and all so I was really really excited to see what the anime version of all of these characters would look like and and I just I just love it it just brings me back to a time when you know I'd rush home after school to try to catch an episode see what 
tuxedo mask was going to do this time, you know, I just, and that, and I love the title sequence in our anime because it really has that feel to it. Um, but it's just really cool to see our characters in anime form. And one thing that I've always said in my career is like, I want to be a sticker one day. And I feel yeah. like this is, <laughs> this is sort of, you know, this is it. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I mean, for Ramona, at least her hair changes. I mean, all her hair changes in the oh, novels as well, but I mean, there's so many different colors. I, every episode, she changes it more than once, I think. I, know, so, I love it. Was there like a favorite look or a favorite uh, hair combo that you can remember? You know, I, in 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 the anime, I just love how you get to see um, her process that she goes through with with her hair and the way that kind of ties the episodes together I just think it's so beautiful the way it was done and that was something that you know I didn't see until I saw the show completed um and I just loved it I don't know it just made me feel kind of warm and fuzzy the way that the way that they did it like seeing and hearing the sounds and the sink and the cat meowing and just the way that it was edited and brought to life was really beautiful and kind of calming and it made even me see another shade of Ramona of how this is kind of, you know, maybe part of it is rebellion and all that stuff, but there's also something, a ritual about it that's very grounding for her. Um, and to kind of get to see that depicted, I thought was just another cool layer to see of Ramona that's just nice to get to show. Congrats on the season and thank you so much for your time and your answers. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.